It was awesome. It was like a dream. I made a New Year's resolution to call her and ask her on a date. You know, you know what my New Year's resolution, resolution is? Tell it! I'm gonna work my job. Yeah. 
Montez. Ooh, Troy Bolton! I see your father is also involved. Split it. I'll see you in detention as well. That's not a possibility, Miss Garbus. Your Honor, sir? Uh, uh, because Troy is on leave and we have basketball practice. That's 30 minutes for you, Mr. Danforth. Count them. That could be tougher, Chad, since he probably can't count that high. <laughs> Fake right and brick left, 
Watch out for the pig and keep an eye on the fence. Gotta run the give and go, take the ball to the wall. Don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just get your head in the game. Uh, just get your head in the game. And don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Woo! Let's make sure that we get the rebound. When we get it, then the crowd will go by. Second chance, better grab it and go. Maybe this time we'll hit the right note. Wait a minute, not the time or place. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, gotta get my get my head in the game. You gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. I gotta get my get my head in the game. You gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. Come on, get my get my head in the game. You gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. I gotta get my get my head in the game. You gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. Should I go for it? Better shake this. Guys! Ball up! Ooh ya, ooh ya, now we got the swerve on. Now break, make the pass, clean the glass. Take another spike from the charity stripe. Make the slam dunk, get the inside, outside, don't get down, don't get down. Keep your head, don't forget. That toy boy, toy be cut the net. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. 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 Our 
audition list. Again? He was hanging around that Montez hag this morning and they were both looking at it. There's something freaky about her. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah, it's like she has an extra brain or something. So why is she interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy, Barf Boy. I need you to plant those printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP, okay? Uh, no problem, little boss. But why am I doing that? Look, there's no harm in making certain that Gabriella is welcomed into school activities that are more appropriate for her. You know, that ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton! Well, Wildcats, it's time to kiss today goodbye and point me towards detention. So all you evildoers better get your bus to the theater immediately or face the wrath of Darvis the Merciless. This is Jack Scott, signing off.
charge attention my way, you can run yours your way. These students need to be exposed to the arts by any means necessary. May we have a word? And you two, to the gym, right now! Detention is over for today. It was an honor and a privilege to watch every single one of you risk, risk, risk. I expect to see some of you tomorrow at auditions. Please remember to be on time. Scoop now and they collect your phones. Chad and Troy are my two star players. You have them acting like idiots when they're supposed to be at practice. They want to act. Darvis, we're days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter music cow. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets. Baskets! The West High Knights have knocked us out of the playoffs for three years. <laughs> yes, and to slide your consistent track record of defeat, the school still seems fit to allocate ten times the amount of money as it does for school athletics than it does the arts programs. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids about having a goal, about teamwork, something they can use as adults. Which is precisely what I'm trying to instill in them. How, by making them scream at the top of their lungs? Philistine! Crack pot! <gasps> Welcome back to another train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will start at 3 o'clock p.m. sharp. So ye barely sports soothed dudes better wreck yonder vocal cords. This is Jack Scott. Over and out in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1.
Is that correct? Oh well, Ryan, Sharpay, show us your stuff. Um, what key? Thanks, but we had a rehearsal key in this new arrangement. I can dump it down for you, again. So good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't have to say a word. For so long I was lost, so good to be found. I'm loving having you around. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. Oh boy. 
I mean, I'll audition with her. Troy Bolton? Where's your sport posse, or whatever it's called? <laughs> Team. But actually, I'm here alone. I'm here to sing with her. Yes, well, I treat these shows just as seriously as your father treats his basketball practices. I called for Juliet and Romeo auditions, and you did not respond. I am very sorry, but we've simply went out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. Troy. <laughs> so you wrote that song Ryan and Sharpay just sang? Uh-huh. And the whole show? Uh-huh. How long did it take you? Um, around two years. I wake up at five every day before school, and I'm still working on the finale. Wow, you're really dedicated. So, why are you scared of Sharpay? It's your show. It is? Hello? Thank you. Isn't the author of a musical like the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? You know, the one who makes everyone else look good. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? Do you want to find out how the song is supposed to sound? Okay, it starts out slow and you first. Everybody 
10 minute intermission to get all this cleaned up. This is what happens when you don't stick to the status quo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
always pointing at me, laughing behind my back, they made me feel like I was a freak and I hated it. It's kind of why I want to keep a low profile here, you know? So I can just be me. But you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? Kind of? Well, that's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. <coughs> you love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier just curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Well, maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you meet a kid, know nothing about them, and ten seconds later, you're yeah. best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Yeah. That's kind of what it felt like seeing you with you. Like, safe, you know? I never thought about singing, that's for sure. But when I look at you, it's like anything's possible, you know? So you really want to do the callbacks? Oh, I, I mean, that's okay. No, I get I'm in. Really? Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. <laughs> You're a cool guy, Troy. <clears throat> but not for the reasons your friends think. And thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. Just like kindergarten. Be your best friend.
big game is the day after tomorrow. Where's your heads at? In the game, coach. In the game. And where's Bolton? That was an open question. I said, how dare you? What? In all my years of theater, I have never encountered such childish, small-minded subterfuge. Team, hit the shadows. Now. All right, Bolton. Cards on the table right now. Huh? Your pathetic male ego is all bent out of shape because I put some of your stars in attention. So now you're getting even? What are you talking about, Darbus? Some very reliable sources told me about your little plot to humiliate me and the drama club. And I'm telling you, it ain't gonna fly. Save the speeches for the stage. And if you and your all-star son are planning some kind of practical joke in my temple of the arts. <laughs> Troy doesn't even sing. Huh. I guess you don't know your son as well as you think you do. But I won't allow Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. He don't need my help to do that. That's all. It's nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you've forgotten, the biggest game of your life is coming up in two days. And your team is counting on you. I was going to stay and work on my free throws. Since you were late to practice, again, that's the least you can do. Either our 
Sam slam a jam at that button. Madam Curie, Thunderfuck have had it. Eleanor Roosevelt. Do you really think these Wildcat legends won championships by worrying about some brunette chick or auditioning for musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jobs or auditioning for musicals? Every year, 
same superb. If we get it again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. And, you know, it, uh, it could be worse. They could have named you Pug, or Shih Tzu, or... <laughs> Maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, well, there are eight very important minutes. I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. Hi, Troy. Did you ask if I'd come switch partners with you and audition with you? The answer is yes. Ryan is fired. Sharp <laughs> uh, No. Have y'all seen Gabriella? I've really got to talk to her. Who? Oh, forget it. Wait. Uh, last I saw her, she was in the theater about ten minutes ago. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How could you stab me in the back like that? Helping the enemy? I stab you in the back? Well, at least you admit it. Now take it from the top and lose the jazz squares. Thank you. 
But first, we have to talk to our friends. Yeah, we have to tell them that we're going to do the callbacks after all. Well, let's get it already. We're playing daylight.
starting immediately. The science decathlon is in the second floor lab. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo are in the theater. And the league basketball championship game is in the gym. Wildcats rule, baby! And the game is just about to begin as the Red Hot East High Wildcats take the court, led by team captain Troy Bolton. Ladies and gentlemen, let the callbacks begin. You have exactly five minutes to solve this equation. Ready, set, and go! Your work. 
Miss Carver's Troy isn't trying to screw up the auditions. Sharpay likes you because she's afraid of losing the part. Shut up! <laughs> Is this true? Did you abuse the presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvised a little. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Off the stage. But I Off the stage! <sighs> it's all yours, Miss Darvis. Gabriella, Troy, you may start your call. But we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music. Oh, no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvis. You really don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I really do. Oh. Ready on set. Oh, now that show fits. Pretend it's just you and me. Like kindergarten, remember? I'm right here.
not a bad singer either. I wonder where he gets it from. <coughs> Sorry.
dreams come.